tend to think of cattle as these lumbering, gentle giants with big, doleful eyes, all totally harmless and sweet. But with size and strength comes risks and even danger. Not a cow. Oh. <laughs> That's not a cow, mate. Oh. oh. That would have broken ribs. And if that didn't break ribs, that broke ribs. These are a big animal. It's like 500 to 1,000 kilograms of bull. And some of them can get even bigger than that. There are certain breeds that go up to like 1,600 kilograms, which is terrifying. To be fair, the bull was facing the opposite direction and the bike rider approached it from behind relatively rapidly. Like you're gonna get a start as well. You know, when someone rides a bicycle up close on the footpath, you go like that. And that's essentially what's happened. So actually, I don't know that this bull is actually being aggressive. I think it's been mislabeled. Oh! Or he just hates lycra. Oh. oh, well look, he probably did have that coming. Like you really do not want to get in between a mother and her calf. But this video shows something else that's really interesting. And that is that cattle uh, can have emotional contagion. So that means that essentially the emotional state can be transferred between individuals, so a form of empathy. So what happened was the mother reacted and then all of the aunties were like, it's straight into reaction mode as well. And that's emotional contagion. Yeah, just make good choices out there. Like don't go up to animals and try and take their babies. That is a no, no. What are you doing? Are you lifting up a rock? Oh my god! Hey! Oh, was it a turtle? Ah! Oh. All right. So the buffalo's got some questions to answer, though, right? Okay. Does it feel empathy for other creatures? Does it see a tortoise in distress and flip it over? Maybe. But I've got a question for you. How did the turtle end up on its back? Yeah. Did the buffalo do that as well? Apparently, horns can get really itchy. Who knew? <laughs> and heaps of animals like to rub them. They like to stretch out their neck and scratch their horns. And so maybe the turtle or the tortoise ended up on its back because the buffalo put it there, scratching its own horns. So flipping it back over is, is the least it can do. It's like, scratch your horn and flip me back over, you asshole. Look at her go. She's called Ronaldo. Sí. That is adorable. And it's something that I've sort of seen repeated over and over again, that there's a lot of play that happens in cows. And sure, the rest of her soccer team were somewhat lacklustre and not very into it, but she is. And look, play is an important role in well, in social structure, really, of a cow herd. Play helps them sort out all sorts of hierarchy. They get to know each other. They get to know whether they're easily grumpy, whether they're good fun to be around. They get to know who their friends are. <laughs> Cows are intelligent, sensitive beings with rich social lives. They forge deep bonds, display problem-solving skills, and truly thrive when treated with the love and gentleness and respect that they deserve.